Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today I'm going to show you how to make homemade fried ice cream. Now this is delicious, and oh man, it tastes so good. Now this was suggested to me by a couple different people, so I wanted to get on this and make this recipe, and frankly, I love it. So keep watching, and I'll show you step by step how to make this. Now the first thing you want to do is scoop out some ice cream. You can use whatever flavor you want. I'm just using vanilla right now. You just want to scoop it out, and you just want to put it onto a baking sheet. And when you have them all scooped out, we can just take this and set it in the freezer for about a half hour just for them to harden up. While our ice cream balls are in the freezer still hardening up, I'm going to start the next step. And I just have a Ziploc bag and I'm going to add to it two cups of cornflakes. This is the first cup and this is the second cup. Now that we got them in there, we just want to kind of remove the air from the bag. And we just want to mash these up. Just crunch them into little pieces. And when you're happy that no more big pieces remain of your cornflake cereal, we're going to add to this one cup of shredded coconut. Then we're going to add one tablespoon of cinnamon. This is just regular ground cinnamon. And we're going to give it a good mix. And when that's all been mixed up pretty well, we're just going to open up the bag and pour it out into this bowl. Next, what we want to do is take three egg whites, just the egg whites, and we want to put it into this bowl here. And that's what we have to start with. I'm going to use the egg yolks for a different recipe that just calls for egg yolks. That way they don't go to waste. Now to this we want to add a fourth a cup of sugar. This is just regular white granulated sugar. And we want to whisk this up really good. And we just want to do this until it becomes real frothy. Not where it gets real stiff peaks, but just real white and frothy. Okay, so that's about what we want right there. It's still liquid. It's not a solid form. Okay, now that our uh, ice cream balls are out of the freezer, they're a little hard. That's good. That's what we want. I'm going to try to avoid handling too much because then they'll just melt from the warmth of my hands. So what I'm going to do is use some tongs, take them a little bit. I'm going to first dip them into the white egg whites and kind of just mix them around really good. Get it covered all the way around. And when I'm happy that I got it covered, I'm gonna just dip it into our little crushed candy, crushed cereal. And when you're happy with what you have, just stick it back on your baking sheet. Now just take this, stick it in the freezer for at least an hour, maybe three hours, or even overnight would be great. Take a flour tortilla and fry it in the oil at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Using metal tongs or a metal ladle, Hold the tortilla into the oil. Press in the middle to form a bowl shape. In about two minutes, remove it and drain it onto some paper towels. In a large bag, mix sugar and cinnamon together. Put the fried tortilla in a large bag and shake it until it's covered with the sugar mixture. Put one of your prepared ice cream balls into the oil for only 10 to 15 seconds, no longer than 15 seconds. Then drain it onto some paper towels. Now after it's fried, you just simply take it and pop it on your fried tortilla, dress it up however we like, voila. And of course, there's no better time than the present to have a taste test. Mm, this is so good. Well, thanks everyone for watching to see how to make this homemade fried ice cream. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please hit that like button. Also, hit that big red subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to get new videos every week. And also, write in the comments telling me what your favorite fried ice cream is. Do you have a special flavor you like to put as your ice cream, or do you just use vanilla like I did? Um, have you ever had fried ice cream before? Write in the comments below, tell me, and tell me if you're going to try this out. Also, give me suggestions to other videos. I'm working on a couple videos that people have suggested, so they will be coming out soon. Keep watching, and I'll see you guys next week.